Cue the fangirl screaming. Exactly one month from today, on August 15th, filming on the Mortal Instruments City of Bones is set to begin in Toronto. And I can literally feel the fandom shaking with excitement and anticipation because, let's face it, just a few months ago, we had no idea where this project was going. We didn't know how long it was going to take for casting to begin, when they were going to film, when they were going to get the movie out. But especially speaking for what happened last week when we had such an abundance of news happening, so much excitement for this fandom, it finally feels that this is happening. You know, I feel like the fandom collectively feels the movie's happening and we can all share that excitement together. So I kind of was doing this podcast because I want to recap the busy news week that we had, um, not just with the City of Bones movie, but also with the Clockwork, with Clockwork Princess and the cover reveal. Most exciting bit of news that we got this week, and that was Robert Sheehan's casting as Simon Lewis in City of Bones. The Simon casting has been long coming. Fans have been anxiously waiting, scheming, plotting, theorizing who's going to be cast as Simon, who's going to play Clary's best friend, what actor is worthy of that role. And so far, the response to Robert being cast as Simon has been very positive. You might know Robert from Misfits. He is incredible. He is the reason I love that show. And it was great to be able to go back and watch that and be like, you know, that's our Simon there. Um, so that was very exciting news. Um, and apparently, according to Cassie, he had this chemistry with Lily and Jamie that, much like their own chemistry, she stated, was just unbelievable. And that is so important is for, for Lily, Jamie, and Robert, for Clary, Jason, Simon, need to have that chemistry. And cannot stress the importance of that. And it's really nice to hear that they had that and... The Simon role took a while to nail down. Cassie said it was the most difficult role that they had to cast. Just because, I guess they, they had looked at so many actors and they just could not find their Simon until Robert. So that was really great news. Also some other exciting movie news was the unveiling of the official title treatment of City of Bones. It is gorgeous. Um... That was the news that kind of started out this whirlwind of a week, was that title treatment, and it kind of just took everyone by surprise. It's like Cassie's like, here you guys go, thought you might like this. Cue fandom freaking out. Um, I think that pretty much started it all, um, and it's gorgeous. Uh, I think we can all agree. I really like several things about it. Um, I like the simplicity of it. I th I'm not sure if it's a teaser poster for certain, but if it is, I really love the simplicity of it. But I also, I love the rune, the angelic power rune where the O should be in the of. I thought that was beautiful. I love that. And I also kind of like that the mortal instruments, if you notice, it's kind of like the font on the books. And I, I, kinda, I really like that a lot. It was like, an awe, it paid homage to the books, kind of. Sticking with City of Bones movie news, Lily Collins and Jamie Campbell Bauer were spotted in Toronto prepping for pre-production on the mortal instruments. And... That's what started out innocently enough as we just, you know, heard of fan accounts that, you know, they were in Toronto beginning pre-production. Later that night, after the unveiling of the title treatment, their photos surfaced of the two of them looking very friendly together walking around Toronto, um, and they could not be more adorable together. Honestly, they were just so cute, and you could really see that chemistry that Cassie was talking about blazing just in the photographs it was just kind of remarkable and it's really exciting because it's like a little preview and someone said it was kind of like watching Jason Clary walking down the street in Toronto um so it was very exciting and but there's also been some backlash with the release of the photos a lot of people are saying that you know they're moving really fast and you know there's both Jamie and Lily, especially Lily, are getting hit hard with some nasty comments. Um, Jamie recently broke up, maybe not recently, but Jamie Campbell Bauer called off his engagement with Bonnie Wright. It was a mutual thing, is what people outlets have been reporting. We don't know how long ago they haven't been spotted together for several months. So, and there we don't even know if Lily and Jamie are dating. I mean, they could just be very friendly. They both look like very friendly people. Maybe they're just getting to know each other, getting in the, you know, prepping for the role, prepping to play, you know, two characters that have such great chemistry. So, you know, that was the downside is the backlash. But I think fans, I think I speak for everyone when I say that fans 
are just really excited to finally get some photos of the two of them together. But also photos that are just so adorable, so Jason Clary, and we just cannot wait to see them take on these iconic roles. So the next bit of news that happened this week was the unveiling of the Clockwork Princess cover. And can I just say that is by far the coolest cover reveal I've ever seen. It was, we started with like this misty figure of a cover, but first, first Cassie comes on and she's like, you know, hey, Clockwork Princess cover's coming soon. And we're like, how soon? And she's like, you guys decide. And then everything just broke up. Basically, fans had to tweet the hashtag Clockwork Princess. Um, it ended up being 30,000 times to unveil the cover. And each tweet helped unlock a piece of the of the puzzle, uh, if, if you must, or a pixel of the photo of the thing. And like Cassie said that she that Simon & Schuster thought that it was going to take days for the cover to be unveiled, and it took less than two hours. T like, fans were just unbelievable nonstop. We tweeted Clockwork Princess for, like, an hour and 45 minutes straight. Everyone was so excited. And the tweeting didn't stop after the cover unveiling. You know, everyone was just so excited. Um, it, it is my favorite cover of the series and of the Shadowhunter Chronicles. It's so gorgeous. Um, everything about the cover is just gorgeous. And... The Infernal Devices covers are definitely my favorites. I love the Victorian feel. I love just, it's just all, oof, I love it. So yes, and also Clockwork Princess is now available for pre-order on Barnes & Noble and Amazon. Now it doesn't come out until March 19, 2013, but the fandom could not be more excited. Um, it was kind of a bittersweet moment, I think, because this is the last cover unveiling for an Infernal Devices novel. And yes, I am one to pinpoint those last moments. I'm always, I'm that kind of person. I'm like, oh, this is the last time this will happen. So it was kind of a bittersweet moment, but it was so exciting that I think that really definitely outweighed it. Also happening this week, Will, Magnus, and Jem, all three of Cassie's boys advanced to the second round in the YA Crush tourney. And can I just say that all three kicked some serious shadow hunter slash warlock, but they were unbelievable. Will was the first to go up. I'm a co-advocate uh, for Will with Katie from Money Moms, and I am completely honored and to represent such an amazing fictional character um, and just talk about all the things I love about him. But yeah, Team Cassie went three for three. Everyone, I think, had at least more than 70% of the final vote. Fans came out in, in droves and like really, really came through for Team Cassie. Um, and next week, Alec and Simon are going up. Alec's going to go on Monday, and Simon's going to go on, on Wednesday. So let's hope that Team Cassie can go five for five on this. Um, as you know, Jace won the Wide Crush 20 last year, and Clary won the Heroines Tournament. So Cass, Team Cassie's two for two for the title, so let's see if we can get other Team Cassie's, Cassie's guys up there. Also this week is Comic-Con. While City of Bones movie is not at Comic-Con this year, I'm definitely think they're going to be there next year, and I really hope I get a chance to go out there. Shadowhunters had a presence at Comic-Con this week. Smart Pop Books were giving, giving away 10 copies of Shadowhunters and Downworlders, which is a Mortal Instruments anthology uh, edited by Cassandra Clare. It's coming out in January 2013, but some lucky fans had the chance to win a couple of advanced copies. Um, I'm lucky enough to I'll be receiving one in the fall, and I'll definitely put my review up on the site. I'm really looking forward to it. That cover is gorgeous. Also in attendance at Comic-Con were Yen Press, the company behind the Infernal Devices manga, which is coming out uh, this fall, I believe, the first issue, Clockwork Angel. And then, and also um, Simon and Schuster were there, and they were talking Cassie and City Bone Movie and Mortal Instruments, Infernal Devices. And Sony Pictures was there, and why they didn't do anything Mortal Instruments related, just thought I should give them a shout out since that's our studio. Now I'm going to leave you with some casting updates that Cassie kind of shared over the week. Um, nothing's confirmed. These aren't like we have names for people, but this is what she shared with us. Um, but we should expect a lot of casting announcements coming in the next week, week and a half too, because let's face it, they're filming in a month now. How exciting is that? Very excited. And I can hear the fandom screaming. It's awesome. Um, but Jocelyn has been cast. The studio is just working her schedule out, kind of like what they had to do with Alec. But we still don't know who Alec is, but Alec is indeed cast as well. Um, I, it must be someone big because Cassie's still sworn to secrecy on that one. Um, she also revealed there are several actors in line for the role of Magnus. 
we don't know when these castings gonna happen, and there's still other act major characters like Valentine and Luke to be cast, and it's gonna be very, very, very exciting. Um, with filming set to begin in a month, there's so much that's gonna go down, so much, and it's gonna be a very exciting time. No longer are we the fandom that waited. We are the fandom that is finally getting casting news and exciting news, and it's going to be one heck of a roller coaster ride. And I'm looking forward to the ride with you guys. So be sure to keep checking back at tmisource.com. We'll provide you with all the latest updates as they happen regarding the City of Bones movie, Clockwork Princess, and everything Cassandra Clay related. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for all the support.